What's going on, my PT peeps, my Walking Dead family, and my fighters? I'm One Eye Bry, also known as PT, and I'm back to talk about the teaser for The Walking Dead Season 10. Obviously, spoiler warning for The Walking Dead Season 10 as a whole, but definitely Season 10, Episode 1. I'm not going to go into too many spoilers for the premiere episode. I'll do another video about that, but spoiler warning for sure. The teaser for Season 10 shows us some new things, so you definitely want to check it out. It's available on YouTube, but I also shared it on Facebook. It starts with the group in the woods looking for something. You can see Michonne, Aaron, Yumiko, Magna, Luke, and Alden. And for those who have seen the premiere, it's in the premiere. They set things up for the future of this season, and it's great. Aaron is tired of being the nice guy, and I don't blame him. But sometimes, when you get a little careless, stuff happens. You can see a whisper skin right there. Pretty gross, pretty creepy, and the whispers are pretty creepy. Like I said, I had my early review of the episode, the premiere episode of season 10, and it's good. Very good. And it's a breath of fresh air. Ah, The Walking Dead is back, and it's great again, and I love it. And it's one of those things where it sets the tone for season 10. Some stuff definitely happens, and it's what you can ask for in a premiere setting the tone, some action, some good music, some stuff that's going to be built later on this season. Then we see a picture of the door right here, silence the whispers in the teaser trailer, right? And there's definitely that feel like people are going to blame someone. They're looking to blame someone. And we see Lydia behind the door. And that pisses me off because that is one of those things where you're like, man, Lydia didn't do this. Lydia didn't have anything to do with the Whispers. She was just raised there. She was born to Alpha, the leader of the Whispers, and someone went and tagged their door. Come on, that's pretty messed up, but it's good writing. Aaron and Michonne are clearly at a difference this season, early on at least. And Aaron's about packing it in, locked down, don't go out, the Whispers could be around, fear. Michonne's like, look, fear is dangerous. If we let that fear take us over, we're going to be doing stupid things. We're going to be being careless potentially. Let's not overreact and not let fear rule us. Then we see this awesome picture of the whispers. They're lined up. They're ready for action. They're ready to be led by Alpha and go attack probably Alexandria and Hilltop because it's going to happen. We should be getting the whisper of war this season. I hope the back half of season 10 is all whisper of war. But we'll see how it goes down. And you see Alpha with her arms raised and someone is kneeling right in front of Alpha. So what is going on here? Is it a sacrifice or what? I just don't know. Then we see Aaron putting on his new attachment to his prosthetic. I personally think the knife hand is better, but the mace hand is pretty cool. I wish it was a callback to Merle and hopefully there still can be because I love those things when they come around full circle, Easter eggs, callbacks, connections, and Merle. I wish he was around. He's hilarious and he would be great against the whispers. That's for sure. Then we see Beta and he's looking through a parking garage security fence gate thing. And I wonder if this is the backstory or start of the backstory for Beta because I don't think we're going to get a full backstory in early episodes of season 10, but hopefully we get more and more information about him because I'm interested in this character. But you can see he's walking along with probably walkers and whispers. And I wonder if this is the start of how the whispers began or they're chasing our group. But I hope it's more of the alpha beta backstory. And then we see Daryl and people lined up in the field around the border. And for my comic readers, this looks to be different, right? There's no Daryl in the comic, so this is totally different. Rick's gone, Maggie's not around in the show right now. And this whole interaction is different. This is gonna be just for the show. But you can see Daryl, Michonne, and probably Laura. And I feel like someone's gonna get taken out here. I said it before way back when we saw the trailer that I think that Alpha's gonna make an example out of someone, and that example will be killing Laura. You see Alpha probably talking to Beta, like a border is gonna take him down. This is gonna take him down. So the Whispers think they're gonna win this thing, right? Come on, right? But it's a border. All it is is just wood separating land. Is that really a big advantage? The Whispers have the walkers, that's for sure, but what other advantage should they have? They blend in with walkers, but if you could just mow all the walkers down, it doesn't matter. Then we see Gamma with Beta. I'm excited to see Gamma because one, it's Thora Birch, and she's been around an actress for a while, which is great. And also, what's gonna happen with Gamma? Have we seen her before? People seem to think she could know Lydia and they were best friends or whatever, but I think that's far-fetched. I just think Gamma is a character that's clearly wearing Enid's clothes 
and we'll see some division between gamma and beta and alpha potentially. I think the word is that there's a little problem between those three, but I am very interested in seeing the whisper camp and see how things are done there. Then we see the other scene that we saw before and some of the footage is reused. I didn't try to put too much of the reused footage in there, but you see Michonne walking through the group and she gets her binoculars and sees the walkers and whispers coming towards probably Alexandria. And then you see this part in the teaser trailer that's the same from the other trailer, the Comic-Con trailer, but she says, She's got to die. So I wonder if she says, B's got to die. And then, you know, the curse word B. But then she says, she's got to die. So maybe she says, B's got to die. And then she's like, she's got to die. So maybe she says it twice. Because people are like, whoa, they took that out. They edited that. That's crap. And you can see some things are going to happen at night. Some big scenes are going to happen at night here with the interaction with Alpha and also the Whispers and Walkers attacking Alexandria and probably Hilltop. And it should be pretty awesome. Then we got another shot of Gamma. And I'm excited to see what's going to happen with Gamma. And I'm not really sure why. I mean, it's just a whisper. It's probably a low level, mid level, maybe the third in command whisper. It goes alpha, beta, gamma, I guess, in the hierarchy of whispers. But I am excited nonetheless. And then we see this. Kelly got to her up. And I wonder what happened here. If you saw the premiere, you kind of know what's going on with Kelly a little bit. And if you know this channel, you know what potentially could happen with Kelly. And I don't like Kelly that much, but I do. I mean, she's a character connected with Connie and Magnus Group, and I do like Magnus Group, so I wonder what's going to happen with her this season. Then we see Beta. I think they're corralling or grazing for walkers. I think that's kind of what they're doing here. And I'm not sure exactly. Is it part of the Beta and Alpha backstory? We'll have to see. And then we see a great shot of Dog and Daryl, and then someone behind Daryl. Is it Carol? Could be Carol. Could be Connie but they're just walking somewhere and you did to see dog a little bit in the premiere and it's always nice to see dog and Daryl and there are nice moments with dog and Daryl and if dog dies, we riot, right guys? Nah, I'm only kidding, it's just the show. And we see Carol with her bow and arrow and the fire blazing, so this is definitely from the premiere episode and if you haven't seen the premiere episode, it's very good and I can't wait to talk about it because it's so good and I wanna talk about it. And then we see Judith, she was taking out a walker in the premiere that's why her face is like, yeah, she's ready to do it. And I'm excited for the future of Judith. And I want to see what happens with the series. And hopefully Judith is a big part of it. Then again, another night scene, some fire. What's going on here? Is this the, from the premiere episode? Is it something else? But if you saw the premiere, you know what I'm talking about. And then we see Ezekiel. Ezekiel is looking out the windows of Hilltop, Kingtop, whatever you want to call it. And I'm guessing the Whispers are attacking Hilltop, and I just don't know what's gonna happen with Ezekiel, but I just feel his time is up. Then we see Alpha running again, and it's during the day. So is the Alpha connecting point here with the premiere episode, you know what I'm talking about if you've seen it, or something else? Then we see this shot, and it makes you think that Daryl is pointing his crossbow at Magna. And I mean he is. You can see where the line of sight is and where the arrow would go, but what's going on here? Is there conflict between Magnus Group and Daryl? Then we see this great shot of Judith and Michonne kicking butt with their swords, their katanas. I'm excited to see this scene. It should be awesome, and it's probably either around Alexandria or Hilltop, but it's probably Alexandria. And then Michonne looks kind of worried here, or she's like, what? Who is that? What'd you say? What's going on? What's happening now? Something's happening here, and it looks to be at night, probably when the Whispers attack. Alexandria and Hilltop. And then Alpha's like, I have the talking stick. Now she's probably just holding the border dividing stick, but it's like, it's just a stick in the ground. We really have to honor this thing, but I guess you do. So we'll have to see what happens, but the hype is definitely real guys. If you haven't seen the premiere, definitely be excited for it. It's awesome. I'm gonna watch it probably two, maybe three more times before Sunday. I'll have my review of the episode for sure. I just, I would love to talk about it now, but not everybody has seen it. So I had my early review of it, but we do have some spoilers for the first two, three episodes, as well as a couple other episodes, potentially, potential spoilers for season 10 of The Walking Dead. And it sounds great, it looks great, and I'm very excited to talk about it. But that's the teaser. It's about a 30 second teaser on YouTube and it's pretty cool. They highlight some new things, we get some new footage and anytime there's like a couple of new scenes or a little bit of new footage here and there, it's great. I just love to see as much information as I can get 
spoilers, potential spoilers, picks, photos, information, interviews, whatever I can get, I share it with you guys as quickly as possible. Hopefully you enjoy what we do here, guys. It's an awesome channel where we love to talk about The Walking Dead and various content. If you can, it'll help us out if you really hit that subscribe button. We have a goal of 100 thousand subscribers and all we're asking for is to hit the subscribe button and become a valued member of our pt channel walking dead family and community and here's my zombie apocalypse book series guys it's on amazon.com and barnesandnoble.com it's a good series we have an amazon storefront the link is in the description thank you guys for watching you truly are awesome and tell them daryl yeah we love you guys honestly thank you